In your book, there are direct method for solving linear system. Linear system like this system, uh, as you see before, we have, for example, I1, uh, uh, X1, X2, X3, uh, and we have many equations. So you have to solve this one. For this one, we said many methods. For this system, the system, for example, uh, I don't have my pen, excuse me for this. So today I will write with mouse. So for this one, we have just many systems. You can start, for example, backward to the forward, or you can use matic to solve the system, or, or, or. So we have here many systems you can use for solving. Today we'll take in our, our lecture another thing. This is about direct solution or direct method. And for me, we'll start with chapter number seven, iterative technique. Iterative technique for solving. Here we are using no, today numerical method. So you studied, uh, you studied direct method, but here you start with numerical method to solve in this one. Today we will start with 7.3, and this is what you have to study. 7.3 Jacobi and Gauss Seidel iterative technique. Again, we studied how we can solve many uh, system with many with many equations, many many variables. Okay, in direct way, you know how we can, for example, use matrix. You can use, for example, solving from uh, into uh, to uh, forward. Anyway, today we'll start to study numerical method for this one. And today we have a method called Jacobi and Gauss. So we have two methods today. What are those? How we can solve? How we can use? Okay, let's talk about this one. First of all, I will read this. Maybe this is important. In this section, we'll describe the Jacobi and Gauss Seidel iterative methods. Classical method that date to the late 18th century. Iterative technique are seldom used for solving linear systems of small dimensions since the time required for sufficient accuracy. Seed. Uh, for large system with a high percentage of zero and three, however, these techniques are efficient in the term of both computer storage and computation. So why we need those for 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 time for computer? You can write a code. You can, for example, okay, John, we have yeah, this is, this this algorithm needs more time, but here we, you can use this one for time. You can use this one for time. So again. Why I need this one? Because I can use this one for time. Uh, and it's easy to implement. For example, you can apply it using Excel, using using what do you want to use? So again, why I need the system? It's easy to implement. You can save time. And you can apply for computer. So this is the benefit. This is a benefit for using Jacobi and Gauss Seidel. So Jacobi or and Gauss Seidel are a technique that we are using for for solving linear algebra system, linear algebra system, and we can use this one for saving time, as you see here with me. System of this type arise frequently in the circuit analysis, uh, your job, and in numerical solution of boundary value problem and partial differential equation. Okay. So again. Why I need this one? If I have two by two, three by three, it's easy to implement. Uh, you can use matrix, you can, you can, you can. If you have, for example, 10 by 10, how we can solve? Uh, here will be art. So for that reason, I start to solve this exam, this question using a iterative technique. Again, we say direct solution, matrix or uh, backward to forward methods. But this is for a small system. If I have big system, we got to move to up. Up of this system, that's mean we are using now here, uh, for example, this technique iterative. Iterative here, or uh, that's mean I will solve with error. I will repeat until find the answer with error. Okay, let's start with this one. First method is called Jacobi iterative method. For AX equal P against for linear system. For linear system. So you have X. What is this? I will solve 
and you can ask ask me after that. Let's take this question. It's here, okay. I will copy. the question copy go to here and the print or best now i have this question he told you have four equation equation one two three four and again, you have this one. He told me you have you have this one. X. This is called initial vector or starting values. I get, I must give this an example for you. So this is in chainial. I am using mouse value. How I can solve this one? I will go here, x1, see my hand, x2, x3, x4. So first of all, I will isolate. So here, x1 is 6 minus. With this, so it's positive, x2 minus 2 x3 over 10. For x2, it is same thing, 25 here, positive. x1, positive. x3, Minus. Minus. Three. Four. Over. Eleven. For this one. X3. Equal. Sorry. And we can make this. Minus. 11 minus 2 x1 positive x2 positive x4 over here. 10 for this we have 4 15 minus 3 x2 positive 3 over 8 is to clear this is to clear so in this case we isolated x1 x2 x3 and x4 Got the idea? Okay. Now, after that, outside. Here, see, we give it, excuse me, using mouse. So, usually I have a bin. So, I have, this is, if you see, this is, I could write x, and this is 0, that's me, Victor. So, x0, as a capital, I will write again. Here. x0. This is basic value. It is x0 initial value comma x1 initial value got it x2 initial value x3 initial value so here x1 uh, like i will use this one like your book okay here, x1 2 3 and this is x4 in shadow is 0 0 0 0 okay after that 
I will take this 0, 0, 0, 0 and put in this equation. So let's make a line. I will write first iteration. For first iteration, I will say it with me, Ahmad, everyone. X1 here is 6. X2 here is 0, so 0. 2x3 is plus, okay, I will write for you 0 minus 2 multiply 0 over 10. So it is 6 over 10 or Zero six clear is it clear now for x2 same thing it's 25 x1 is zero x3 also is zero x4 is 0 over 11, so it is 24, 25 over 11. Where is the calculator here? 25 divided by 11, so it is this value, 2.27. Yeah, I'm using calculator like you, 2.27. Now, x3 is minus 11 also 0 over 10 same thing so it is here minus 11 divided by 10. it's 1.1 1 .1, i know 1.1 1 .1, yes in minus one point one. 1 last value Okay, this one here is x4 is 15 minus 0 plus 0. Okay, over 8. That's mean. Thank you, Osaid. 1.75. Correct? Is correct, Osaid? 1.75. Use calculator check again. It is 15 divided by 8, 1.875, uh, sorry, I get the mistake, 875. Now, yeah, if you are excusing with me, now we have the, the fairest vector for fairest iteration. Now we have a value here. I will write the values here. X, X1 now is 0, 6. X2 is 2.27. X3 is minus 1.1. And the last value is 1.875. Clear? Any question for this? Any question for this? Until now. After that, I will go to the second iteration. In exam, I need just two, two iterations. So second iteration, I try to be here. Second iteration. X, see, I will add something here, see. X1, 1. X2, 1. X3, 1. X4, 1. That means X1, First iteration, x2, first iteration, x3, first iteration, x4, first iteration. Okay, now x11, no, x12, second iteration is same thing here, 25 plus. X1, this one, 
zero six plus I try to reduce my line plus uh, uh sorry 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 okay the mistake it's two okay uh six plus x two is two point seven minus two multiply x three is minus one point one over ten you can find the value now x2 2 is for 2 is 25 x1 is 0 6 uh, x3 is 1.1 1 .1 minus 1.1 1 .1. x4 minus here x4 is 1.8 multiply 1.87 over 11 x3 same thing equal x3 2 equal here minus 11 minus x1 is 2 multiply 0 6 x2 is here is 2.7 I guess yeah 2.7 x4 is plus x4 is 1.87 over 10 x4 2 same thing is it clear Is it clear for this? Okay. So as you see here, every time I will uh, now we have a key point. This is not I'm talking this is me, this is Gauss or Jacobi method. In Jacobi method, take this trick. You will finish all the block, then use the value in the next step. You will finish all the block and use the value in the next step. Clear? You will finish all the block. So first of all, I will start with the block 0, 0, 0, 0. I use 0, 0, 0 for x1, x2, x3, x4. Then I got the value 0, 6, 2.7 minus 1.1, 1 1.875. 1 I didn't use in the same time. I wait and I use for another iteration, second iteration. Where is the error? Or where are errors? If you have many errors. Errors here, you have, for example, four errors between first 0, 06 and another point, 2.27 and another point. And like what we said in, at, uh, at, if you remember, for root, for, for one formula, you have, for example, error in exponential minus 5. So, for example, you need here 0 0.005. So, you have to calculate here how many errors here, four errors. In exam, you are not responsible for errors because every time you have to check four errors. Uh, if if one error uh, more than our, our our limit, you have to repeat again. When you study, for example, uh, uh, bisection method, if you remember, or fixed point method, or neutral direction method, we said for one error, then exponential minus two, that means zero point zero zero or error. Here we have error, but how many errors here? We have four errors. So you have to make a table for four errors. <coughs> if one error of them more than the limit, you have to repeat. When I should just wait until repeat. In exam, I will ask you find second iteration, for example, or first iteration. That is, but, but usually for normal life, if you have, a, if you have, you need to find the value. You have to repeat for all values x one, two, three, four until less than your error. Is to clear this idea? Now, just I'm saying with me, where are the rest? Sleepy. Good morning. Good night then. Say thank you. Say who is in here? Ahmed. Good morning, Ahmed. Are you sleepy? I know you are. We have many students. Where are you? Amen. Usually are you out of me? 
نو درينك كافية عبد المطلب عبد العزيز قلت هون جود مورنينج قلت هون امرا سيلا جود مورنينج سيلا اوكي جست اي نو يو ار هير امين اي نو اي نو اي نو اي نو اي نو يو ار هير والله اي نو يو ار هير ان شاء الله نيكست نيكست سيمستر اي ويل سي فيس تو فيس نو اي دونت هاف ليكتشر فور اي دونت نو ويت نيكست يير جست اي هاف مايكروويف فور يو ان شاء الله فور نيكست سيمستر سو اي كان نوت سي يو Expect for example, if you have a summer, this is another issue. Okay, this is for for which method? It's called uh, excuse me, Jacobi method. So this is for Jacobi method. Now, this is Jacobi. Jacobi said you have to solve to get to new values. For example, here zero six point two point seven one point one in minus one point eight seven five. Then don't use it. Wait for second iteration, as you see here, then use it. Here's the trick. Here I have this value. Then in second iteration, I use it. Then I will get another block. Okay, good. We have another sentence called Gauss Seda. Actually, those are both. Those Gauss said, that said, no, we don't wait for another one. Okay, what we have to do? Just wait to cancel this. Because I need the main formula. Again, my bin, I am at home. So for that reason, I'm using the house. Now, let's go to another method in our book. I will show you, maybe, actually here. This is called, this is the answer. Here you can find the values in this table. Iteration 1 until iteration 10. And here, as you see, we have to repeat and find error. We have another method. Where is it? Called gauss Seidel. Here. In your book, Gauss Seidel method. What is the Cal Gauss Seidel method? Said okay, let's return to this. Now we are talking about Gauss Seidel, not Jacobi. So let's cancel this. I cannot cancel, okay, blind it. And it tries its Gauss Seidel method. What Gauss Seidel said? Same thing. You have to use x1, x2, x3, and x4. So first iteration is this first iteration. Now let's start with x1. X1 is six plus. X2, do we have any X2 before? No, yeah, we have value, zero. Minus two. X3, yes, we have value, zero. Over 10. So answer is zero, six. Correct? Correct, Abu Saeed, Amin, Ahmed, Ahmed Rin Kafiha. Huh? Now, X2 is X1, one x2 is one it is 25 good wait we have here x1 uh take care of this trick use this value directly got the idea got the idea zero six X3, you know, you don't have, so it's 0 minus 0 over 11. Let's calculate and find the result. But you have got it or repeat? It's the calculator. It's, it's 25 positive 0, 6 divide 11, 2.327. Two 
point p two seven. So as you see in in Jacobi, you have to finish all the block. Jacobi said, "Don't use anything. Finish the block block." Dow said, "No." Said, "If you find the result, use it on the same block." This is the main difference between Jacobi and Gauss Seidel. That's it. Or repeat. Another example. We need more example. Okay. As you want, Sila. X3. I'm using random names. Excuse me for this. Now it's minus 11. Minus. X1 here, yeah, we have 2, 0, 6. Here. Huh? Back. Okay, uh, x, x2, just a minute, just a minute, okay, okay, yeah, x3, yeah, I'm x3, Allah, it means, okay, now, x2, x2, we have, x2, so we have, we will use, where is x2, plus x2, X4, no, we don't have, so it's 0. Over 10 equal. Abu Sa'id got it, Abu Sa'id. So here minus 11 minus 2 multiply 0, 6 positive 2.327 okay, divide 10 equal minus. Zero nine eight seven three. Got the value? Got the trick? Last example. X four one equal fifteen. Yes. Minus x two is we have x two. X two is here. So it is a three multiply two point three two seven x three plus x three. Yes, we have x three with another color. Yeah, this is x three. Use it. So it is minus zero nine eight. Seven three over eight. Calculate together and find the value. It is fifteen minus three two, two three three seven minus zero eight seven three. Divide by eight. So this is the answer. This zero eight seven eight nine. Is it clear for you? This is, this is Gauss Seidel. Gauss Seidel said, if you find the result, don't wait for later. Directly use in the same time. Don't tweet. If you find use, if you find it, use it. Is it clear for you, anyone? And after that, you can find. After that, you can find the error. If you want. Abu Sa'id is clear? Should I repeat? Anyone? Same thing for iteration 2. 
I mean, it's clear. So now here we have we have these values. Now here I will write these values here x one. Okay, x one I will write in correct form. X first iteration we can write as a vector. It is zero six two point three. Two seven point of this minus zero eight seven three zero eight seven eight now you close. Then you can repeat for another iteration. Okay, should I repeat this to clear? I mean, no. Anyone is clear for you? Okay, let's go to your book and see what's inside your book about this methods. Was this close this? No. Okay. In your book, we started with the same example. See, in your book here, there is a formula here, Jacob method, this is the method. And they solve this example, like our example. Can't find the video. See. Answer really answer is absolutely one 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 here. But how many iterations did we take? It's iteration number one. It's okay, that's me iteration. X1 first to zero iteration, one iteration until 10 iterations. So you get the near to the exact result. Okay. We stopped see we stopped after an iteration because the this 10 exponential minus 3. The error here. And it is done 10 exponential minus 3. So you have to calculate error for each time. For that reason, in exam, you are not responsible for error. You have to calculate error for each one. X1, X2, X3, and X4. Now, if we go to gauss seidel this is, I don't need this. Here, here the, the algorithm that if you want to write this one. Now, for gauss seidel the same example, my, this is my, I see the result. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 2, 0, 9, 8, 7, 3, 0, and this is the second, third, fourth, fifth iteration. So after fifth iteration, we get the result. Uh, so we can say uh, gauss seidel is faster than Jacob. Sure, sure, because when you find the value, you are using this value directly. So gauss seidel is faster than Jacobi, and you can you see this one from here. And error, absolute error also be smaller than Jacobi. So which one do you prefer for me and for you? Sure, gauss seidel Is it clear? I refer to use gauss -Sedal. Ahmed, you asked me, uh, upload the book, upload the lecture. We are, we are, I'm giving lecture from the book, Ahmed, directly. So we don't have a PDF we are because I'm giving from the book. Now, let's go to end of your uh, book and see the question about this one. Here, general iteration, we don't need this one. Just I need Jacobi and gauss seidel Okay. I will go to the end of this book. Okay. Find the first two iterations. So this is a question, an exam. In the previous year, I didn't give. So I, this year, I give this one. Find the first two iterations of the Jacobi method. 
and he gives to me the first it's used say vector x0 equal 0 that's mean x1 0 x2 0 x3 0 x4 0 i will write here hujam we didn't understand you hujam i will here that's mean it's 0 0 0 0 x1 0 x2 0 x3 0 x4 0 is it clear and he asked me just find two iterations maybe in exam i will give you start from another point take care about trick here i give you start from zero 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 maybe in exam you have to start for example from two three five four for each one so take it's not not mandatory to start from zero 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 we can start for example from one 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 take care here in our book it gives to us zero 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 so we will use our book example but if I give you another method, initial value have started from this initial values. Clear? Clear, take care about this trick.